Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, you beautiful people of YouTube. I'm LPMarsh94, and we are back with some more Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. We are here in the burrows, finishing it off by looking for Ginny, who's somehow got herself lost. Whilst everyone is waiting to head off to Diagon Alley. I'm going to collect a few magic beans that are around here. Now, I can't actually remember the exact path to take, although I think I found it. So, yes, we've got some uh, junk like a lawnmower that will try and attack you. But a couple of flipendo spells or a fully charged one will take care of it. I'm going to try and collect as many beans as I can early on. I'm not quite sure how many is needed. How did that not... Thank you. Oh, ran straight into the bees. That wasn't clever. It's all right. Plenty of chocolate frogs around. Right. Meet the washing machine. Sort of a mini boss. Just watch out for him. He will try and spit dirty laundry at you. Including socks and underwear. Which obviously we don't want to be hit by. But they're not exactly anything challenging. And of course once we beat them. We can levitate them. And use them to climb up to areas. Now if we can turn around and get the right angle, you can pick him back up so we can get to this next ledge and get some more beans. And it lets me climb anyway. Sniff up here, grab these. And then let's deal with these lawnmowers. Oh, didn't know I could get hurt once I've actually killed them, but apparently there's a few seconds afterwards where they can still damage you. Look for something to charm onto the pressure pad. It happens to be that huge rock that's there with it. Okay, let's pick this up and throw it on the pressure pad. Which unlocks the door. Gate, even. Alright. That's not what I was trying to do, but... Sod it, we'll just do this now anyway. for everyone! Oh, I missed. Collect these beans. Right, how many have we got? We've got 43 in total. Good start. See, I would take the time and effort to edit all these out, but there's so many of them that I'd end up missing some of these loading screens and auto-save screens. And uh, my editor's finicky enough as it is. Because there's quite a few of them, and if I edit them out, I'll probably get a few more, about five more minutes into each video. Avoid the bees, avoid the bees. And we've got another washing machine. Who's coming very right close? Wow. And down he goes. Wingardium Leviosa. We can use him to pressure the uh, pad, and then we can move on. More barrels to break. Sorry for the. Uh, using all this time to break these, but if I can get some, as many beans now, we'll have less to collect later on. 
So I'm just kind of getting it out of the way now. I know it's long, tedious, and probably really boring to watch. Just uh, trying to get through it as quick as I can. Use the gate. out the way. Oh man, so many barrels. The problem is the fact that you gotta have a fully charged knockback spell to take these out. I mean, luckily with the law modes, you can just do a couple of quick non-charged ones and do them as you go in. Whoa! Easy there, Lord Mawa. Alright, we've got a gate to unlock somehow. Which would be just simply enough. Grab this rock. And put that on the pressure plate. Right, let's try and get past these bees again. There we go. Yes, now I believe there's a couple of ways we can go here. Right, so that's the way we actually want to go. So let's just clear up the other area first. I believe it's another washing machine fight. Don't hold me to that, obviously. Yep, there he is. Oh, he got me. The jet. Now if we bring him over to the pressure plate. Magic beans! Sorry, Bertie beans. Whatever. Beans! Wingardium Leviosa! I need to bring him over here. So we can climb up. And actually get to the beans. Bless you, dog. Lots of beans. I need to sneeze as well. <coughs> oh, apologize, guys. Alright, so now we can head back to where we were. With that uh, tree where I said that's the way we're going. And we actually need to knock the tree down. Cross. And what was around this way? Ah, yes. Some more uh, crates to knock back. Seriously, we can jump so damn far. And a second, which is a wizard card. Hengist of Woodcroft. We now have two. As I said, unfortunately I did miss out on that denoming one, but we can come back and do that later on. Alright, so that's pretty much everything done now, I think. Ow. Gonna hurt. That's not much I do. There we go. And we can use this plant to weight down the pressure plate. And there we found Ginny. Oh, hi, Harry. Thank goodness you came. My puff scan swallowed my Rememberall, and I got lost trying to find him. A Rememberall tells you that there's something you've forgotten to do. You can have it, Harry. I don't have my wand on me now, so use your knockback jinx on the puff scan, and he'll spit it out. Okay. There we go. Simple enough. We've gotten ourselves a Rememberall. Nice work, Harry. 
Hope Dad's junk wasn't too much of a problem for you. Right, we better get back to the house. Mum and Dad are waiting to take us to Diagon Alley. There we go, so that's pretty much the burrows complete. Just gonna go open my drink here. As you've never travelled by flu powder before, you need to know a few things. It when sucks. you're in the fireplace, say where you're going. And keep your elbows tucked in. Mind you get out at the right fireplace. Are you sure this is safe? Piece of cake! Dragon <coughs> Alley! Yes, the flu network sections. Not too good at this. I will be honest. As you can see, it's basically Harry Potter's version of Rainbow Road. Uh, I've missed so many beans. Uh, that looked painful. Not as painful as that would be if I go off. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay, so far so good. Ow. Why is there fire? Alright, I think we made it. <laughs> you will do this a few times through the games and they get harder. As you'd imagine. Harry had no idea where he was. All he could tell was that he wasn't in Diagon Alley. Evil-looking masks stared down from the wall, and rusty, spiked instruments hung from the ceiling. The sooner I get out of here, the better. Harry heard a noise from the door nearby, and two blurry shapes appeared on the other side of the glass. Harry looked quickly around and spotted a large black cabinet. He shot inside it and pulled the doors closed, leaving a small crack to peer through. Seconds later, a bell clanged. And Draco Malfoy stepped into the shop. The man who was with Draco could only be his father, Lucius Malfoy. Touch nothing, Draco. Mr. Malfoy was trying to sell the shopkeeper certain dark magical items that he didn't want the Ministry of Magic to find out about. Harry went to Flourish and Blots to buy his books. While he was in there, Gilderoy Lockhart, Hogwarts' new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, was signing his latest book. Nice big smile, Harry. Together you and I were at the front page. Harry met up with Ron and Ginny Weasley. Lucius and Draco Malfoy were also there. Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Ginny, who was very fond of Harry, defended him. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Lucius Damn her Malfoy next thing. insulted the scruffy state of the second-hand books Ginny had bought. I suppose those books are the best your father can give you. Lucius plucked a copy of A Beginner's Guide to Transformation from Ginny's Cauldron, examined it briefly, and then replaced it. No one at that time realized how much of an effect this gesture from Lucius Malfoy would have on their lives, and they all left the shop none the wiser. They found the car in Charing Cross Road, and after making it invisible, flew it into the sky over London. They saw the Hogwarts Express far below, and followed it for some time. See, it bugs me there that it doesn't explain why we take the car. Because obviously in the book and the film, basically what it is, Harry and Ron try to get to Platform 9 3 quarters to catch the Hogwarts Express, and they're somehow blocked. So, to get to school, they take the car. Which this game for some reason doesn't explain. Looks like we've lost the train. Let's check out that tunnel. Ooh. 
Oh dear. Looks like we found the train, Ron. This is a real fun section, actually. I quite enjoy this. Try not to scratch the paintwork, or my dad will kill me. He's gonna kill you anyway. We stole his car. Pick up the speed boost to stay ahead of the train, and watch out for any obstacles. Right. Yes. Yeah, so basically, the objective is to stay ahead of the train. We've got the meter in the bottom that will show us the distance from the train. We so just keep uh, grabbing the speed boost as much as you can. You should be all right. Obviously, you try and avoid hitting anything, like the lights that are above and stuff. Now, right, so we will take damage. If you take so much damage, obviously the car will crash, and yeah, then we're kind of dead. Missed that one, not too big a deal. Now there are certain areas where you can take different paths. There is one path we want to take to get a Witch and Wizards card. Right, missed that speed boost. Oh, I can hear the train getting close. Hope it's not until the next section where we can get that Witch and Wizards card, but I will show you what it's like to take one of the extra paths. I wish I didn't hit a bloody sign to get in here. We must be near the end of these tunnels. Well, Robin, we were actually outside. We could have gotten away then, but for some reason we're not allowed to. Keep going, Harry. We've got to reach the end of the tunnel soon. So that's part one of this done. There are, it's split into two parts. Almost there, Harry. Collect the pickups to repair some of the damage the car has taken. So there's now a new pickup. We can now fix the car. It gives you one straight off the bat. See what? Look, we could just fly away here, but. No, we're not allowed. Alright, so there's another turn off section there. That's not the one with the card in. Where's the next turn off? Crap, 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 crap. Crap. Alright, so there's another path here. This isn't the one we need. This one, I believe. Oh, crap. I didn't see that. No, I missed the card! Oh, please tell me I can come back and get that. Oh, missed the repair. I can't believe I missed the card. I can't believe you can come back to this section. I believe you can. Because the game basically gives you a mechanic to allow you to go back and get any which of the wizard's cards you've missed. I think. I bloody hope so. And again, I'm not going for 100%. If I can come back and get it, I'll come back and get it. If not, it's not the end of the world. Phew! That was really close. I didn't think we'd make it out of the tunnel. Excellent, Harry! <laughs> There's Hogwarts! Try and land the car in the castle grounds. There's something wrong with the car! I don't have control anymore! Tree! 
And of course, with all the trees we had to hit, it's the Whomping Willow. It doesn't take too favourably to be hit by a flying car. Help! I can't get out! Harry, you need to get close to the tree and cast a spell at what looks like his mouth. Oh, crap. Oh, wow. Before moving close to the tree, Harry. Yeah, watch out, obviously. It has a few attacks that really hurt. And he is going to try and smash us with a car. Oh, wow. Put the car down. I'm trying to, Ron. Why don't you get out and do it? Got it. I thought I ain't played this for a while. I used to never have problems with this tree. By the time Harry and Ron had escaped from the Whomping Willow, the sorting ceremony had already begun. They peered in at the Great Hall and watched as the aged, old sorting hat placed new students into the four Hogwarts houses as it had for so many years past. Harry remembered putting the sorting hat on a year ago. And for a few horrible seconds, he had feared the hat was going to put him into Slytherin, along with Draco Malfoy. Not Slytherin, eh? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! But of course, he had ended up in Gryffindor, along with Ron and Hermione. As they watched the sorting, Harry noticed that at least one teacher was missing from the staff table. Hang on! Where's Snape? And then, from behind him, came the voice Harry dreaded to hear. It was Professor Snape, Harry's least favorite teacher. I'm waiting to hear why you two didn't arrive on the school train. It was a great start to the term, thought Harry, as they followed Snape to his office. Once there, Snape nastily admonished them about flying the car to Hogwarts. You will go immediately to your common room, and I will think about how to punish you. Yeesh, that's not a face we wanted a close-up of. But there you go, we made it to Hogwarts in kind of one piece. If you can class one piece after being chased by a train and attacked by a tree. But you know. But it's good to be back in Hogwarts. I've missed that music. Can you believe our luck? Fred and George must have flown that car five or six times, and they never had an accident. I really thought we'd get expelled for sure. Come on, Ron. Let's go to the Gryffindor common room. Do you think you can remember the way? No problem. Follow me. Alright, so yes, so it's time to head back to the Gryffindor common room. However, we will do that in the next episode. So for now, I've been Alpine Martial Arts 4. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day, everyone.